unit conversions. It is not only very useful, but oftentimes essential to be able to convert from one unit to another. Let's do a sample unit conversion by converting between two common units of length, inches and centimeters. Measure the width of a standard piece of notebook paper in inches and you will find it to be 8.5 inches. Say you want to convert 8.5 inches into an equivalent number of centimeters. You want to end up with something that represents the exact same length but now has the units of centimeters. A conversion factor is just a ratio that has the value of 1 so that when you multiply your starting number by that conversion factor, your ending number has the same meaning but now has different units. The basis for all unit conversions is an equivalent statement. In this case, you know or can look up what the equivalence between inches and centimeters is. One inch equals to 2.54 centimeters. To do a unit conversion, you always need to know one of these equivalent statements. Let's start with the equivalent statement, what you know, and divide both sides by the same thing. Since 2.54 centimeters and one inch represent the same length, their ratio equals 1. And you can multiply anything by 1 without changing the meaning, in this case a length, of your original measurement. This ratio is your conversion factor for this problem. Plugging in the conversion factor, we see that the inch units in the numerator and the denominator will cancel each other out, leaving centimeters in the numerator. So 8.5 inches is 21.59 centimeters. You may have noticed that there are actually two ways to make the ratio from the equivalent statement. The first will help you convert from inches to centimeters, while the second version will help you convert from centimeters to inches. To figure out which is the correct one to use, look at which unit is in the numerator and which unit is in the denominator. The denominator should have your starting unit and the numerator should have your ending unit. When you multiply the conversion factor, make sure the starting unit cancels so that you are left with the ending unit. If you happen to multiply by the inverse, or wrong conversion factor, then the units won't cancel and you know something is fishy. Since you have just multiplied by 1, your result isn't really wrong, it just isn't very useful.